Hey everyone, just want to welcome you to week 11, module 11 for ME12 Dynamics course. A couple bookkeeping items this week. First, you have your quiz number 11, and this has been posted to Blackboard, and it'll be due on Friday the 13th by 4 p.m. Big ticket item for this week is your exam number two. So exam number two will be released on Wednesday morning, and I've given you 12 hours again for this one here. So we released at 7 a.m. and it'll do at 7 p.m. that same evening on Wednesday the 11th. Now this is gonna have the same format as exam one and your homework assignments. So please reference back to your homework guidelines for your details on formatting, grading, and how to submit it. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And a reminder as always, I have my office hours on Tuesday and Wednesday mornings from 9.30 a.m. till 10.30 a.m. But if these times don't work for you, just send me an email or a message or a chat through Teams and we can find a time that worked for both of us. So as we take a look at module 11, we're gonna be getting into chapter 17 of our textbook here. And we're gonna look at our, our moment of inertia uh, related equations and problems and our planar kinetic equations of motion dealing with translation. So required readings as we relate back to our textbook, this is going to align with chapter 17 sections one, two and three in your text. So we'll break this module down into a couple different sections. The first section is going to be 11.1. And in this section here, we're gonna deal with our moment of inertia. So we're gonna determine our mass moment of inertia of a rigid body or system of rigid bodies. And key activities we're gonna do within this lecture here, go through some kind of applications, talk about our mass moment of inertia related uh, equations and calculations, go over our parallel axis theorem, talk about composite bodies and how that's going to affect our calculations, and do out a couple of problems. Our second section here is going to be module 11.2. So objectives within this module here, we're going to apply the uh, three equations of motion for a rigid body undergoing planar motion and analyze problems involving translational motion. So we're gonna go through a couple applications, talk about free body diagrams of rigid bodies, talk about equations of motions of rigid bodies, and uh, look at translating motion and go through a couple of problems together. 